My name is Nairon Mohammed. I'm a facilitator in the supply chain management program here at Lockjack GSB. Um, I have been lecturing for the past three or four years in this area and I've spent the last 25 years in the private sector mostly honing my skills in supply chain management or you know the different areas that were of contributed to supply chain management over the years. Supply chain management is about the management of relationships. It's about the relationships that a company has with its suppliers on the upstream side and its customers on the downstream side and all the intermediaries that connect with the organization to deliver value to the end customers. One only has to look um, at the leading organizations in the world and you will realize that companies like Walmart, Amazon and so on are the best supply chain companies in the world and there are a lot of lessons to be learned for us here in Trinidad to be able to adopt some of those strategies and add value to the end customer. Supply chain management, it's no longer the case where companies compete against companies. It is in fact that a company and its supply chain competes against another company and its supply chain. And the, the sooner that we understand that, it's not necessarily an adversarial relationship that an organization has with its customers and its suppliers. It's one that, you know, there's a harmonizing of the processes of the different parts of the organization and the customer and the supplier are now viewed as part of the organization as a whole. So supply chain management would seek to increase that synergy that exists across the entire chain as it were. It used to be that in the past things like procurement and logistics existed separately. And the old adage was, you know, when I was growing up in management and I now got my first job, they would tell you literally to squeeze the life out of the supplier. And at that stage, I didn't understand. I literally squeezed, squeezed, squeezed the life out of two suppliers, international suppliers. And the problem was, really, at, after squeezing the life out of them, who was I to buy from, basically? There was nobody. I ended up going to other suppliers and have to, having to pay more. And that, that was a real issue because the suppliers were further away. The logistics were um, much longer in terms of the logistical span and it didn't add value when I could have really worked together with my suppliers and be able to live a little more, uh, add a little value to everybody's life. And supply chain management is about that. It's about building relationship with your suppliers so that in the long run, the customer benefits from added value added to the process. In most organizations, inventory management is really the toughest part of the job. In fact, I don't you know, envy anybody who does inventory. And supply chain helps to synergize that relationship. It helps you to carry uh, less inventory, but has you know you have more uptime uh, availability of goods and services. There's high, higher service level to the end customer. There's a continuity. You have less stockouts, meaning that you could supply the customer greater value in terms of his requirement and what he requires over the long run. And, and you don't risk your customers going to your competitors. Some of those customers will never return. So supply chain management helps synchronize that process. It helps to ensure that uh, value is given to the end customer. In fact, the very concept of supply chain management is geared towards delivering of value to the end customer. The jobs that are available to individuals in organizations starts at the very lowest level in terms of people who, who require like inventory clerks, inventory coordinators, people in logistics, logistical clerks, logistical coordinators, inventory managers, um, you know, um, logistics managers, supply chain managers, these are some of the jobs. And in fact, it, it soon, uh, as soon as the government formalizes its um, procurement regulator, which is part of the procurement bill, uh, there, would be a, there would be a positioning of um, those types of positions in all the ministries because there's a significant requirement for people who understand what, it, what supply chain management is all about and what are the various processes and sub-processes that go about enhancing the supply chain process. So Lockjack GSB International Diploma in Supply Chain Management, um, you know, as advocated by the International Trade Center, to me is the top program that exists um, in supply chain management, even in Trinidad and I would even say in the wider Caribbean as well. You see, it's a two-year program basically as compared to CIPS, which could run you more than five years, in fact, um, you know, so it's, and it moves progressively in that it's a modular program, it builds upon the previous modules. So one module would build upon the learning of the other modules and you go incrementally 
and the student knowledge base increases as we move on. So it really helps the students to basically crystallize his learning from a practical perspective and from a theoretical perspective as well and helps him to pull together both aspects in terms of implementing in the organization. Um, what I would wholeheartedly like to recommend this program to individual considering a future in supply chain management. Um, the program is a really good program, the, fa the facilities are world class and the lecturers are really experienced. The lecturers themselves have written the exams and they have an in-depth knowledge of the course content and what they intend to lecture you on.